Hello, I'm Nima Tabrizi on behalf of Academic Committee and Organizers. I'm here to uh, present our Workshop on Regeneration Project TAR 2 for you in International Conference on Traditional Building, Architecture <clears throat> and Urbanism. But to talk about the workshop, I have to say that uh, our second workshop, Project TAR the second, or Project TAR 2, has been held from uh, September 11th to September 21st, 2019, in Tehran and Tar Village, uh, with the collaboration of Intbo Spain, Intbo Iran, Trachidia, University of Tehran, and Atelier Sigmon. With common roots but different backgrounds, we all had similar uh, concerns about our country, especially about the villages. As you see here, uh, Iran is a country uh, with a population of approximately 82 million, uh, with uh, 20 million a rural population, which is one fourth of it. But uh, the villages are getting abandoned. Uh, here you can see more than 30 thousands of Iranian villages are abandoned right now, uh, compared with uh, 62 thousand uh, villages being inhabited. It's a very large number. And the population, the rural population, is decreasing by uh, 700,000 each five years. It's a very big number. So we talked about the reasons and the problems, and we investigate the issue. Uh, and we thought, how could we uh, confront this problem? We found out that there are two kinds of uh, immigration in our country and in the world. Immigration from rural neighborhood to urban neighborhood, and immigration from urban neighborhood to rural neighborhood, which is very rare in Iran. The first kind of immigration from rural to urban uh, is more common. So the villages are getting uh, out of population, are forgetting their wise and all actually their sustainable way of living. For that, we think how we could deal with it. When we got to workshop on regeneration, which was kind of our solution uh, to answer this question. So what is workshop on regeneration? Workshop on regeneration is a program uh, that we've designed about two years ago and to 2018, the summer of 2018, uh, to, uh, to to, to find out that how we could uh, make a platform uh, for uh, different professions to work with each other and to confront the, uh, the problem of sustainable living uh, in our country. So how, how, how we could work together uh, to, to, to deal with, with this uh, bad situation. We uh, make academicians, students, local residents, and local craftsmen and professionals together to work with each other in the uh, same uh, roadmap. With an uh, idea, and here you can see a brief of the main procedure, uh, we uh, actually uh, wanted, for, uh, wanted different theories uh, from different uh, fields, like development strategies, conservation, material research, social facilitation and sustainability to work with each other, to work together, uh, to regenerate a local hub by restoring an abandoned building in a rural context. With this, we could uh, be able to uh, observe awareness and make it an issue in the mind of locals in village and also uh, increase the awareness in the academy among students, among uh, professors and others. So we designed a workshop with two parts. Our workshop was uh, composed, actually is composed from two parts. The part one, the, the, uh, the theory, uh, the part one, which we call it theory, is mainly uh, made of some lectures in academy uh, has been held in Tehran mainly, in the University of Tehran. And the second part, uh, that we call it hands-on, uh, mainly has been held in um, the village.
in itself is made up of three stages observation uh, bilateral dialogue and uh, taking action here you can see a picture of one of our lectures in the first part of the workshop I think it should be an online lecture from I think Tragedia and in this slide you can see uh, some pictures of the second part from right to left is observation part in Natanz uh, in the middle you can see the way that we uh, have some dialogues with locals and with each other also and, and the on the left you can see how we took action before going to the details it's it's good to talk a little bit about the village tar that our two workshops have been held there look at this very beautiful picture here uh, it's taken on uh, 1980s uh, which shows that a mountainous village uh, slipping this charming context uh, in, uh, in, on the foothills of Carcass Mountains, it is Tar. Tar is in the central part of Iran, uh, near to Natanz city, and Natanz is famous for being a uh, garden city, a historical garden city, in the Isfahan province, and Isfahan province is one of our main provinces in central Iran. As you can see here, uh, the population decreasing during these years. According to uh, the last official census in Iran, census in Iran, and on 2015, the population of the uh, village uh, is 143 people, and it's very low. Uh, but it's not the old story. As you can see on the, on, on the top of the page, on the top of the slide, uh, the temporary inhabitant of the village is increasing up to 1,500 per year because uh, some people originally from Tar come back to the village for summers or for some recreations and trips and trying to make some new villas and houses there. And it's affected the uh, context. So we went there and uh, went through the uh, village to talk with people, to talk with each other, to talk with stakeholders, uh, craftsmen and also officials like the mayor of the village. Also checked the uh, uh, maps and some uh, official documents there. Also we have observed um, derelict buildings there and new ones. Here you can see the new buildings in historical context, and historic fabrics, and also uh, suburban gardens. And it is what is going on right now in the village. After all, we talked more with craftsmen there and experts to extract original knowledge of the village from them and know what has been happened and what is what could be happen after then we uh, write down some uh, results of our, our trip there to the, to the village and draw and drew this sketch this analytical sketch and marked some uh, focal points of the village uh, that we thought we could work on them let me say a little brief about the first workshop, Project Tar One. It's been held. Uh, it's been worked on this uh, abandoned uh, small room made up of stone and uh, adobe and timber roof, uh, which was built uh, on one of the highest at uh, altitude of the um, village, on top of many other uh, destroyed buildings as you can see here in the picture we started to uh, reconstruct the uh, stone wall of the yard and then repair the ceiling and other and then go to the uh, to uh, repair interior size of the building uh, and here you can see the results 
exterior interior also here you can see a new window that we've added to the building with the help of a group of 20 people uh, I think 10 students four of us and more than uh, six experts in the system but uh, the main Well, the next part is the main part of this presentation, Project TAR 2. We have worked on a very important building in the second workshop. And it was, a, uh, it was a water mill, which was one of the main public buildings of TAR. Here you can see uh, the location of the water mill. It's located uh, in the middle of the historical uh, context between the buildings and gardens uh, in the left and on the right you can see a real photo of the um, water mill but after our workshop here is the first site of the water mill when we arrived there just no one knows what it is but just some old people of tar I mean young people didn't know where the water mill is they just know oh, there is only a street called Sarosia which means a street of water mill but they didn't know that where it is exactly so this is the first site and the first picture we took there here you can see um, a drawing drawn by one of our members our team members which shows how it works uh, as you can see the water comes down to the wheel and then enter to the main chamber to spin the uh, a wheel then you can make flour out of it there uh, then the water goes out to the river bed the used water goes out here we can see two chambers the main chamber and the entrance chamber in the next slide you can see um the uh, detailed sketch uh, of cha two chambers the main chamber on the right and the uh, entrance chamber on the left the water comes down enter the main chamber spin the well and then uh, goes out to the riverbed and the uh, and then you can see uh, on the uh, entrance chamber on the left and below you can see a photo of the cone, the stone and the wheel of the water mill. Here you can see some detailed sketch drawn by uh, members of the group. On the left you can see the details of the uh, water mill wheel and stone. And on the right you can see the details and the joinery details of the uh, wooden roof. We have divided the procedure into different parts. Uh, the first part was uh, repairing the main chamber, which was the location of the wheel and the stone and the cone, as you can see here on the right. So we uh, started to excavate all the debris from uh, the, the chamber and then open the uh, way of the water, you can see on the left photo, and then uh, repair the walls and the uh, ceiling and also reassemble the uh, historical will and the stones. Another part was to repair uh, the stone vault. Here we can see uh, the pictures of that repairing. The stone vault was one of the a very precious part of the building. We mm, excavate inside and then remove all the debris from above it. Uh, then trying to repair the stones and after all we uh, reinforce it with metal mesh you can see on the right another part was repairing wooden roof uh, you can see the procedure here uh, from left to right uh, first we excavate the debris from the main uh, from the entrance chamber and then we uh, use some reused timber to make an, uh, a new roof uh, covered with wood 
after that we covered the wooden wooden roof with some dried indigenous vegetation as uh, insulation and you can see here and the below and in the last picture you can see we have covered uh, the roof with mud murder as the final layer in the next slide you can see some uh, other pictures of the uh, entrance chamber inside and what happened there here we can see uh, how we made a mud murder together uh, with clay and straw in a very very funny teamwork but all of them couldn't be happened uh, without the help of a very friendly and smart and hard-working team of students, experts, assistants, and locals. They collaborated and worked together day and night, as you can see here. And after all, we took a group picture. You can see here more than 40 people uh, helped us in the workshop. Students, experts, locals, assistants, and the committee, the organizers. This is what the last picture we took with uh, the water mill. And here you can see the last picture we took in the last moments of the workshop. And this is what we gave to the people of Tar in the last day of workshop. But it wasn't the whole story. Because we have collaborated with a group of talented young people called the CATMA. And they were responsible to find out what is the best uh, future function for the water mill. Uh, after some uh, sessions of brainstorm with themselves and with us and with uh, locals together, uh, they gave us their results uh, and three alternatives for, for as uh, a function, as future function for the water mill. It was cafe being a cafe, a traditional water mill or a museum of anthropology. And they gave promise to the people of Tar that could help them to make it happen whatever they want from these three alternatives. And after all, after a month, we had an exhibition in the University of Tehran to show our accomplishments and achievements to eager people and to have new critics for the workshop on regeneration and also uh, to broaden our network. That's all. Thank you so much and I wish you all the best.